Hey guys, welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today I'm so stoked because my friend Miss Hobbs made an amazing looking salad and the second I saw the picture, I was like, girl, I gotta make this. So she gave me permission to make this. Go check out her channel if you wanna see the original recipe. I will link it down in the comments below because she just cooks amazing food. She's a really awesome person and I've made a really good friend here on YouTube. And so I'm so excited to share another recipe of hers on my channel. So this recipe is her Asian zoodle salad and I really wanted to make this one because it's hotter than Haiti outside. I wanted something crisp and crunchy and cold in this 95 degree weather that we're having. So if you want to see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. So I first got going on making my zoodle. So I got my mandolin with the largest slicer setting that I could and just got going on slicing those and putting them in my bowl. And I made a half of a batch of the recipe, so I did about 10 ounces for the size of bag, put them in a strainer and salted them to let them sit to get all of that excess water out of the zoodle so that it wouldn't be soggy in my salad. Who wants a soggy salad? Not me. And while that was sitting, I went and made my sauce with my peanut butter, soy sauce, extra virgin olive oil and try to make it in the bowl if you can do that. My garlic, cloves, my ground ginger, I forgot to add brown sugar, two teaspoons of ground sugar, sesame seeds, and olive oil. And after 15 minutes my zoodles were all shiny and looking wet, looking pretty, but we don't want that in the salad. So I went and spent a good five minutes getting all of the water off the noodles. I took about three whole paper towels getting all of the noodles off. And then I put pepper in my uh, my sauce, because I forgot, <laughs> and just blended it up with the immersion blender. And at first it didn't really want to go. It was kind of thick in the peanut butter. You're gonna kind of have to play around with it, get it, you know, get it going, but once it, it gets going, it, it wants to play along. And once it was all beautiful and it smelled, oh, it just smelled so, so good. Like, I can't even explain it. It was like creamy and spicy kind of smell from the garlic. It was, mm. And so last thing I did was get my broccoli slaw. I did a half of a, a large bag. <laughs> um, I put it in a separate bowl because I needed room to stir. And then I just poured a half of the sauce mixture on my salad and then I just stirred it all around. Made sure to get every nook and cranny of that broccoli slaw coated in the sauce mixture because it's so good. And then last step was I topped it with peanuts and a little bit more sesame seeds and that was it. This took about 20 minutes start to finish. We're just gonna pretend like I didn't forget to add the parsley and the green onions, okay? Are we cool with that? You don't want to have parsley? Don't you? you don't want to have parsley? It smells incredibly peanut buttery. I can't wait to dig in. I'm just going to give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. Why am I blowing on this? This isn't even cooked in the slightest. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's so... So I've had a lot of peanut sauces before. This one smells so much more peanut buttery than it tastes, but that's not a bad thing. The sweet and salty, salty thing is really what stands out to me. It's like I taste the vinegar right away and then I get the salty soy sauce and the sweet creaminess of the peanut butter and then crunch, crunch, crunch from all these awesome veggies and the peanuts. This is really cool. It's not what I was expecting when I think peanut sauce. I think like a really heavy peanut buttery dish and this is not so peanut buttery for me, but it may also be my brand of peanut butter. It might be that I didn't use ground peanuts. That might make a huge difference. This is, I think, a 10 out of 10. We will definitely be making this again, probably will add some chicken, and I think that if I were to bake some chicken breasts in the fridge, or in the fridge, bake chicken in the fridge, bake chicken in the oven, and put some of that peanut sauce on top of the chicken while it's cooking, and then toss it in here with this, it would just be like a killer, killer dinner. I'm actually honestly very surprised just because it didn't turn out as I expected, but it still turned out freaking phenomenal. 
and process was easy, especially if you're gonna go the way she went and buy zoodles. I honestly kind of wish I went that way because it was kind of a pain to get my zoodles ready. And my zoodles are very thick because otherwise I, I didn't want to use the small little uh, mandolin slicer thing that I have because I knew that that would be very similar in texture to the broccoli slaw and I didn't want too much of the same thing. I wanted the zoodles to stand out, but I think that if I had a spiralizer, that would be ideal. But no, this is awesome. I'm gonna quit rambling because I just can't stop. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and testing out Miss Hobbs' recipe. Again, go check her out. You will love her just as much as I do. And don't forget to subscribe to me and her while you're th at those places. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye. She got had add pars parsley and some stuff so she's gonna do it right now. I say peanut. Am I recording? Yeah. Okay.